I'm not being funny, but I've been watching Antiques Road Trip, right, all of a sudden, yeah, I see a, a set of others. Anyway. I'm going to swear a lot now, because the next bit that I'm going to do, I watched something last night from a guy called Pockets of the Future. And it's, uh, I just started watching it. And last time this guy did something about, like, you know, cartoons and all that sort of stuff, what's coming out. You mentioned about Lion King and the uh, pedophile signs within that cartoon. I did a video on it myself. There's other videos I've done on these like cartoons because you just see clips and you just see it for some reason. Because once you sort of realising work out what they do, it takes a lot of listening to other people do their investigation work. So you pick things up as you go along. Then I'm going to show you what I saw quite quickly because. It has the same sort of uh, things of, like, in, in other videos that I've done that I've noticed. And I'm putting it together a little bit just to sort of show you. So if you don't know what I'm on about, I'll try and explain it in, 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 a, in a layman's term. Yeah, but I'm going to do it without swearing. Yeah? Because, you you know, in the usual videos, you get wound up. It's so disgusting and vile, these people who do this and the industries that do it brainwashing our kids and all these secret signage everywhere and all that crap. So you start getting a bit peeved off and you start swearing and stuff like that a little bit. And you put your, your videos and stuff like that out. Because you want to put across not just the, the information that you're doing, but you see, it's just like the, the, the trueness of your, 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 how you're feeling and everything and how d disturbing and crap it is and evil it is. You know what I mean? So that, that's why I've done it with the swearing in the past, just, you know, as it was real. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to try and do it without swearing, so it comes across more of a basic format without people getting annoyed with my swearing. So I'm going to do all my swearing right now, and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, discuss it in a bit more of a, a learned fashion. Uh, this is Pockets of the Future. This is a video I was watching. It's called The Weird Mask Singer, Double Illuminati UFO Owl. You know, because the owl is the, you know, old part pass of the Freemason malarkey. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching it, and I got up, not till there, it was more up here. I mean, this is a car, I don't know what the cartoon is about. Yeah, some obviously kids' cartoon will look very like Mosesy, Jesusy type of blinking area, doesn't it? The type of thing. Now, the thing is, what I've read and studied over the years, yeah, is that pedophiles, they get these cartoons, right? And they show them to kids or whatever, and then they point out certain things within the in the cartoon you know the hidden messages and things like that and what the paedophiles then do is they create reassurance that the evil things that they will be then subject to is sort of okayed by the film industry because it's on the screen yeah it's okayed by mum and dad say because they let them watch cartoons as well from disney or whatever so they stick these poor kids in front of the telly and they start pointing out these hidden messages Anyway, I'll show you what I spotted straight away. Because once you sort of like, you know, read about what these dirty people do, these evil people do, these evil adults upon children, right? What you find out they do is this. I'll let this play a second or two. It doesn't matter if the volume I'll turn the volume down, actually. But what they do, there's reassurance here. It's all cartoony, all like, you know, the Bible look in it. Right, I'll let it play. Right. Here. Yeah. Right, and I thought, straight away, I thought, blink, connect. It just sort of, because once you, once, basically what I'm saying is, once you sort of like understood, understand where they, they put these signals and how they do it, you sort of, um, I mean, I don't watch cartoons personally anyway. I've just watched clips like this and such like, and a few things I watched when I was a kid. Yeah. But you start seeing how they draw the child away from the actual scene that's this. Yeah? Two other signals. Yeah? What makes kids happy? Things like 
birds and planes and things like that. Yeah, and if I put on big screen so we can see. And this is what you see, look. See over here? Two little dots in the night. Looks like a, a you know, like a, a lad with a cap on, doesn't it? You know, like the old hat cap type of thing. Forget about the top bit. Because you don't need that with your brain. You just have to realise that, oh, I look, that looks like a guy's looking with a peak cap on or something. Yeah, it's a picture version of this, really. There's a little billy goat chin, maybe. And, you know, it just looks like a, a person. And then you look over here. And then you say to this kid, yeah, oh, look, the secret messages everywhere. See that little bird, little eye there? Little beak tweeting out, yeah, on a branch. It's tail feathers. Yeah. That's quite an obvious one, that. And the kid will go, oh, yeah, look, a bird. So these dirty b bastards, right, will then teach the kid where to look that's differently than the film that everybody's looking at. What I'm asking you to do is to view the pyramids in a cartoon format, a bit like seeing this lion's face within the tree. Or you can look at all the dots here and see the number 29. That's how I'm asking you to look at the pyramid. Yeah. I mean, we can all see that owl or the little dicky bird, whatever, on the tree, can't you? Now, do you understand the little dicky bird within the pyramid? Can you see the little bird and the fly on the branch? Can you see the two eyes, the peak cap, the mouth, the hand area with the cane looking and pointing to the little birdie on the branch? And that's how they groom kids into other forms of communication by pictures. Can you see the child's face, the eyes, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and the face? And that's how they divert the child away from the, uh, like the, the actual cartoon into their grooming minds of evil there's other ones in there as well but you know it's a bit like uh, you'd probably start thinking oh what's he what's he on about but that's quite an obvious one yeah and then you, they'll probably do things like this oh can you find another one kitty winkle yeah and the little kitty winkle will go oh i don't know that looks like uh, you know a little doggy tail and stuff a little doggy head and it's little body uh, you know, this, and they, they groom them into it. That's what they do. That's what they call grooming everybody. Yeah? Bring Kinnak. There's an obvious bird there anyway. On a branch. Being looked at. And the peak of the, the thing actually draws a line to where it is. He's looking at the bird. He's tweeting in the, in the pyramid there. Remember the pyramid shape? You know, because that's involved, isn't it? Illuminati. Pedophiles. Little pyramid this. Right. And that's basically how they do it, everybody. Do you get me? This is the basic thing I'm showing you here. Because if you show too many complicated ones or try and point it out to people, to warn people that that's what's going on, they just think you're full of it. Yeah? But you, you look at those eyes, you look at that hat, it points to where the picture is, and there's a little tweety bird singing there. There's its beak wide open. There's its dot of the eye. There's its head. Yeah, it's its little lag legs on a branch. And there's its tail feathers. Yeah, little doggy up there running from right to left. In the wind type of look. Yeah. You've even got the path from up here. There's other stuff up here. I reckon, yeah. I reckon. I'm gonna, I have to try it out on my uh, movie maker. But I reckon if you got this type of pyramid here with these little dicky birds on it and all that sort of stuff because there's like a there's like a path down here watch and it's like to an arrow and i'm just wondering if it's there what i'm saying is is if you like get you know recontrast it or make it brighter or darker and you manipulate the screen and these things might pop out a bit more do you get me so i'll check it out on the actual uh, movie maker yeah but you can see all little types of like three dot faces yeah, the one there that looks like a little eye there, a little eye there, a little nose, a little mouth, and there's a little hat on it. 
like a little teddy bear with a hat on, a little top hat. Yeah, little things like that. But that's an obvious one, bird. That, this is just the one clip I'm doing, bird. Bird, singing, tweeting, everything's all right. All these little hidden messages you see, we kiddie winkles. Yeah, well, I'll, then they'll show them later on down the line. I'll show you this next one clip and get, and get you what I'm on about, right? You think I'm bullshitting? Check this out. Vile, innit? Gauging girth sticking out anyway. But look at this here bus at the top. Look at that sign there. That there, yeah, is a pedo sign. And there's your, your little bit of boy loving, little logo, little boy lover. It's no different than the shape of the, the little pattern on that cart. Yeah, because they will link that then, that then sign to other pedo signs where the link to more disgusting little bird tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah, sit further back. There's like it's like a little lion with its mane, not a dog. A lion with its mane, two eyes, its, its chin, its nose. Yeah, running with its little back legs and a tail. Yeah, like little animals, isn't it? A little follow the animals, follow this dude, and he then 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 link to this next scene, dirty sign here. Yeah, they're the poor kids I'm on about. Which is like your kids, by the way. It's all very dark, isn't it? Look, look, see that? Look, look, look at this straight away. Look at this. Yeah, the Illuminati owl. Yeah, the Freemason language. There's its eyes. There's the mouth. There's its body. And the wings. Yeah, and there's your wee owl. All used everywhere on money. Freemason world and satanic world and all that stuff, the Illuminati. So it's the, the Freemason entrapment of a little girl. And guess what? All these spikes on it. Yeah? We get poked, everybody. Yeah? Letched at by dirty old men or women. Things like that. then probably killed in sacrifice because it goes on by the way everybody attack on the children child sacrifice and pedophilia from penn state to pedophilia priest child sacrifice in america uk pedophile scandal hundreds report child sex abuse at football clubs vatican guilty of pedophilia and child sacrifice question mark this is probably what this this cartoon probably tells pedophiles that's what they're allowed to do to children in the month or year that this film's released because that's the uh, systematic evil freemasonic satanic way of saying you more likely get away with it because that's what they're doing anyway even with his little base feet plate there just like the owl at the top there look the eyes the ears yeah yeah come on <laughs> 